Good morning, guys. Dar Sizzle and Puddin coming at you from the deep blue sea. We are a fishy couple if you're new to the channel here in South Florida. And this video today is brought to you by the Fish Angler app. Yeah, we got out of brain early today to do some trolling for Wahoo. And we're going to try three different approaches today, three different plans. Trolling for Wahoo, hopefully some mahi, and then maybe some deep dropping. And uh, mainly because the conditions are looking great, and we'll tell you a little bit more about that with the, with the fish angler wrap. So like Brian said, we're trolling for Wahoo, but we also go catch a variety of different things here too. Sailfish, bonita, uh, uh, blackfin tuna. But Brian's gonna tell you right now exactly what we're trolling. All right, getting started over here on this corner. We have our planer with a pink sea witch. You guys know we always pull that. So that's a deep rod. Up here on what they call a, a kingfish rod holder. She just kind of sticks out vertical right here. I'm pulling an Islander uh, chugger. And if we actually catch a fish on the lure, I'll show you the actual lure. On this opposite corner, we have a blue and white uh, Islander with a uh, Bonita strip again that Darcy made. And so that's another deep bait. That's on a cigar weight. All right, straight back on the what we call the way, way back. Goes way down the middle. I have a, uh, a red and black Islander with a Bonita strip. And that's, uh, we catch wahoo on that. Uh, when we switch over to more tuna fishing or mahi, I'm going to put a smaller lure out there, again, on this way, way. And then lastly, in the other kingfish rod holder, we only pull, pull five lines, typically with just two people. I have another, uh, what we call a pea line. It's like a little blue feather type thing for tuna. He's going straight out and just turns right. straight into me. I'm going to get the out of here. Oh, and everybody always asks, how fast are you trolling? And it doesn't really matter how fast you're trolling, it matters that your lures look good. And then, so you're gonna go the speed that makes whatever baits or lures you're pulling look the best, okay? I don't know if you're pulling into the current, across the current, with the current, calmer you go faster, uh, rougher you go slower, but we're probably doing, I don't know, we're doing eight right now, okay? Stand straight. I'll get turned because I was getting shallow. What? Getting turned because I was getting very shallow and it popped. All right, first bite on the pink sea witch. <laughs> we can eat him. Woo! All right. Little like a one and a half foot barracuda in the boat, which is a perfect eating size fish. We have moved on to plan B, which is coming out and looking for some mahi-mahi. We ran out quite a distance. I think we're in about 11, 1200 feet of water right now. Just came across a pile of boats fish in this area and we found a weed line so <coughs> I actually saw another boat hooked up on a fish which is a good sign uh, but basically the reason why we decided to do this today was of course troll for the wahoo in the morning full moon is approaching just looking at the fish angler app you can tell also coming out here for the pelagics the major is about to start so looking at the fish angler app you can see here with the screenshot that the major is about to begin so we are out here Fishing. We like to fish during the minor and the major moon phases. They usually seem to work and produce fish for us. Um, and then look, looking at the fishing lack as well for the weather, you know, last few days we've had a steady east wind that's pushing everything to land right behind us, hopefully pushing the bait and then along with the pelagics. And like we said, people have been catching fish all week just looking at the post on the app too. Uh, so that's about it. Brian's getting the line set up right now and now it's just a matter of time until we get on a fish. All right, line just went off. We're tight, I think. I think so. You want me to help? Yeah, I gotta get that one down. Okay. Just put it down. You don't have a fish? No, I have a fish, but... A bar it's, jack. It's a bar jack. Woo! Oh no, it looks like a little mahi. Or a tiny mahi. Tiny, tiny. All right, well, at least we're catching a fish. <laughs> Not necessarily what we want. This is more of a bycatch. They're uh, underneath the weed patches and stuff. Very aggressive. That's actually... Yeah, looks like a bar jack. So the mahi, we haven't found any mahi, but so we decided to go to plan C, which is travel about 15 miles to a tile fish spot. 15 miles? 15. Oh. And along the way look for mahi, and we found this thing, but there doesn't seem to be much on this either. There's a lot of bait. I don't know, maybe we're just going to troll around it? What do you think? Let's do that. Right. Let's just pull a planer down and troll around it. That's a good idea. We're going to call this the L&H method. Yes. This is what the people, the L&H is like the best. You want to drop best. your soul pitch? No, I don't want to. I just did it over there. Well, here. Okay. Let's troll around it. All right. I'm going to stick. It's a good technique when you see something. You don't see any mahi on it. You can throw uh, chunks of bait on there, which we did in another spot a minute ago. Yeah. Or you can uh, troll around it and, you know, 
the chunks. You hopefully bring fish up from the deep if they're around, but nothing's been, work nothing been working today. Here come the triple tail army. Nothing. <laughs> Never anything. I hope the tree. Our plan worked. We found stuff. Good stuff. Really good stuff. I mean, I don't know how much better you think you can get than that, but there's no fish on it. Had everything on there except the fish we want to catch. <laughs> and short fish that I want to catch. You like, she likes short, short things, thankfully. Triple tail! Oh! Still run into our deep drop spot. And once again, as we're out here in the deep ocean, we've come across another scatter, well, a weed line here with some scattered weed in here and there's boats on it. And it seems like it goes for quite a bit of time, but usually the weed will be where the calm water is. You can see like the ripples and then you can see some calm water. And that's usually where the fish and the flotsam, jetsam, whatever you want to call it, that's on the surface is usually in that calm water. So we're going to send out lines again cover some water and just cross our fingers, something happens for us. Little baby. Something floating down here. He's a little baby. Oh, too short. He's cute though. He's cute, almost as cute as me. Yes. No. He's a Come fish. Come on, honey. He's a fish. He came off. Perfect. He loves right. to throw fish. He's a flying fish. <laughs> All right. I don't know if that means chunk. We caught him on this. It's called a pea line. We they picked it ourselves. And this little squid thing, a little skirt underneath it, and just a hook. Yeah, mylar and a squid, squid, squid skirt. Yeah. I actually have a video on how to rig lures newly on the uh, Patreon VIP site. There you go. I'll put that information right here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're on to plan Z, ABC. When you come out here, you gotta have a plan A, a plan B, and a plan C. Yeah. <laughs> so, listen, we have like three weed lines or four weed lines. You did bring my swordfish squid. You said you didn't. Oh, I thought those were other different squids. Yeah. All right, this good. Is perfect. Good. We yes. got fresh squid. You caught sword fishing. Yes. The last time we deep dropped, we accidentally caught a squid, and that's what we caught our big golden tile fish on. This is the first time I've seen Darcy smile all day. Brian still hasn't smiled. <laughs> I smile every time you put that bikini on, does it? But uh, yeah, all right, so we're gonna do some deep dropping and uh, also good plan for today because Golden Tile Fish closes on Monday, September 20th. Golden Tiles are one of the most blizzard fish in the sea. I don't know, they do some sort of count, like they try and count them, I guess, I don't know. And then when it gets to a certain limit, they close the season early. So if we don't catch them today or by Monday, today's Friday, you're not gonna be able to catch any for the rest of the year. It's over. It's over. No, that's not cool. All right, so I said, let's get it turned up. Turned up. Turned up. Upper crust. All right. We're gonna be dropping a five hook chicken rig in about 800 and something feet of water. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. How big is the weight? Eight pounds to start with. Eight pounds to start with. We've got about three and a half knots of current. Nice job, nice job. Are you ready? Go. I dropped the weight for her. Now I'm going into the current. She dropped in the line that way. Line's going like this, and then we're gonna drift over it. Yeah. That was great, that was, how do you like that diagram? <laughs> Wave on the videos. We're going this way, the weight drops this way, and then we're gonna back over it. And pick up the slack as we go. Pick up the slack as we go. You just picked my nose on camera. Good job. Boy things. They all pick their nose, even the girls on camera. Even, the, even you girls pick your nose. Don't lie. What do you got there, Sizzle? We got something on there. We got something on there. Not nothing. But we got a couple. Wow. Hey. Not bad. Look at that big one down there. That one big. This thing's got all it? tangled up. You got it? Twisted. Yeah. Well, that's a monster. Yeah, that's a nice one. Hold on, let me get the weight. Whew, wow. that's a Ooh, that is a huge one. Let's put a little one back really quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get him. Let him go. All right. So the cool thing about oh yeah, very twisted. Crap. Whoa, what's a monster? Dude? That's a huge. That's the biggest one we've ever caught. Yes. All right. So the cool thing about these guys is they have no swim bladder. I don't even want to touch him. Go, buddy, go. He'll swim right back down to the bottom. No, don't stay here. Go back to the bottom. He'll get his bearings. There he goes. There he goes. <laughs> He's gonna make it all the way back down. 900 feet to go, buddy. There he goes, he's taking off. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah, he just needed to get his bearings for a second. 
butt, this absolute tank, tank of a Look at the belly. Look at that belly. That's like bigger than mine. Holy smokes. Oh my See, God. this guy's gone. What? <laughs> the show, that guy's actually going down. Yeah, he's gone. Oh, look, that's nice fish there. Look at this thing. That's this the biggest one I've ever seen. Well, dude, what are they eating down there? I am so curious if there's like actually anything in that stomach. Holy cow. Look at that rosy dude. And I just said they don't have swim bladders, so he's not blown up. Like no, that's he's not blown up. straight belly. Like that's <laughs> whatever's in there. I don't know. That's crazy. That's a stud black belly rose fish right there. He's so cold too. Yeah. You guys have to feel these fish. <laughs> I wish you could feel them, but he's so cold. He's like ice. Wild. There's our biggest rosy ever. Pretty wild. First drop. At least we didn't get skunked. Now let's see what else <laughs> we can put in the boat. Nice. Nice. You see, plan A, B, C, one, two, three. I mean, finally got, I mean, finally got some lunch in the boat. I could've ate that barracuda. That's what Dolph Sizzle's family We is could've, doing. but I used them for fresh bait. <laughs> What's the most important? Fresh bait, fresh Fresh hooks. bait, drop hooks. All right, now while we get, get reset, getting back to that fish angler app. Actually, I have a shirt on today, look at that. We'll uh, put this spot on the fish angler app because one of the main things about the fish angler app is that the social network and, and people put their fishing spots down there. And like, you can just look at this map of this area and you can see there's a million fishing spots. And uh, you know, if you don't know where to fish, you can try those spots and see how they are. It's a great, it's a great resource. And, and actually tomorrow we're going to go a kid's thing, a kid's camp in Deerfield Beach, co-sponsored by Fish Angler. So, you know, they do a lot, a lot of good stuff. They got the weather. Brian, we'll put B-roll in here. I'll put some B-roll in here. There we go. So they got the fishing spots, they got the weather, they do some good for the community. Getting kids fishing, so uh, no, it's all good. It's all good in the hood. The hood being the ocean. All right, of course, battery died, but. Battery died. <laughs> Drop number two, two more rosies in the boat. And you can see here, just from bringing them up, we broke our weight off, unfortunately, um, on the bottom. But look at that huge hole it ripped in his face. Yeah. So that's why you gotta bring them up slow. Lost half the rig as well, so we're getting set up and making a new rig and getting ready to drop to the bottom for the third one. All right, let's see what drops number three. Darcy says there's something on there. This is like an Easter egg hunt every time. You never know what's going to be out there. Something on there. The red grouper. Might be a tilefish. No. I could be lying. No, That's no, no. It's a pipsqueak. That other bait looked like long and skinny. Can't believe he ate that giant bait. So you can see that the baits that we got on there are pretty big. Can you? Thanks. <laughs> are pretty big compared to the size of this fish, and we're trying to weed out the smaller rosies to get bigger ones, and hopefully golden tiles and other crazy deep creatures from the deep. But he still ate a giant bait. Pretty crazy on the high hook this time instead of the low hook. Nice, you laid it down good at least. Yeah. All right, another fish in the boat. Let's do another drop. One more drop. Darcy likes to play chicken with these waves, with these. Brian's a scaredy cat with storms that are way to the west of us. <laughs> I didn't, I'm from New York. I didn't grow up in Miami. I'm not used to this hillbilly crap out here, fighting storms, chasing storms, getting chased by storms. You're not getting chased. Middle of the ocean. You're fine. There's no wind. What'd you say? The storms are building from the land. This, this weather pattern we have is not building on off the ocean. If it was, that would be a big no-no. Where's the pliers? Do you know where the pliers are? Pliers? If I had to guess, you put them someplace poorly. How often do you guys look for pliers and scissors on your boat? If you, if you had your holster, you'd be finding them. <sighs> I like to talk about Darcy making fun of this beautiful boat. All her, Brian does is make fun YouTuber. of it. While, while he drives, he's like grunting and puffing about how terrible <laughs> this boat drives because he's going boom. Boom! Not that bad. Boom! You get beat up in a zero foot Z. How said. insane is that? But I wish I wish some of us could say the same. We have outgrown this boat many years ago. I'm um, not really sure what we're waiting for, other than a couple important things that we have to do that we are slackers on, and a matter of waiting for a good deal and maybe rebuild the boat. But we want to get a 27. I want to get, I'm not getting a boat until I get married again. <sighs> <laughs> I'm gonna buy you a boat for your wedding gift. You're gonna make someone a good wife one day. We don't know who. Thousand. We're trying a little bit shallower now. Trying to get a tile fish. But again, but you know, 
the le lesson of the day is you got to have a plan A, B, and a plan C. And now we're putting fish in a bowl. And more. And <laughs> sometimes D. And, uh, you know, one of the other important Just lessons hit we learned was that, and this may sound uh, uh, counterintuitive or just be instinct, but uh, you, got, you got to fish for what's biting, okay? If just we were you, biting, we, but we were fishing for wahoo and mahi that were biting yesterday. Yes, but the weather changed a little bit, as we noticed on the fish angle wrap. So, but we, no, it was good to try, so I'm not debating that. Uh, you know, in the summer, come once you got to run out and try for the mahi, you have to do it. So we did it. I had a, another good friend, Crazy Craig, who's been on the channel, who uh, fishes regularly. He didn't, he didn't catch any fish today. Um, so, you know, again, again, one of the things, you know, the reason some people catch fish and other people don't is because some, one person's working harder and Darcy's still out here fishing and putting the fish in the boat. Nothing crazy, you know, for us. Uh, of course, we appreciate it because a lot of other people don't get to do this, but um, yeah. here we are. Exactly. That's the situation. Living the dream. Living the dream. It doesn't matter the size of the fish. Doesn't, that's what I told her. Current's ripping it out of the boat. That's crazy. All right, let's drop the current. You know, current's up to 4.5 knots right now. This is insane. One of our friends says you couldn't deep drop out here, so we're lucky we got any fish at all, really. I don't think we have anything. What a bummer. I couldn't even hold bottom. It was ripping so hard. It was nuts down there. Couldn't even hold, and we have storms coming, and no go on that one. I did have something on for a second, and it felt like it popped off. Ooh. All right, that's fishing. Well, I had a beautiful, wonderful day, wonderful Friday. Oh my God! Uh, what happened? It just broke right at the boat. Dude, this is just like the worst luck. The rig broke right at the boat and it went flying down into the water. We just lost 10 pound weight for no reason at the boat. Another $50 rig, gone. Oh, Darcy picked the weight up and it would not just broke right off. Yup. Mm. Very frustrating. Very Been having a very frustrated few days. Hopefully, and plus the six days of sword fishing we did before that. So this is just all coming to a head. I'm very frustrated. Tried to snakehead, we couldn't do that. Couldn't do this, couldn't find mahi hey, today. Hey, language. Couldn't find wahoo today. Couldn't find nothing. I should still be happy, but it's just very frustrating. We're putting in lots and lots of hours, lots of time, lots of money, lots of effort. Those weights are like- For not a lot. 10 pound weight is like $30. $50. No, it's more than that. It was $39.99 we bought at X-Gen. Oh, they're like $3.50 a pound. Ugh. Can you help me with the- Yes, honey. Jeez, I can't believe that just happened. I don't know how that happened. Well, those were all uni knots you tied on that one. Honey, I mean, there's the thing scales or whatever, probably nicked it or whatever. But, I, know, I mean, and, and, and there was days. no fish on there. So you can you imagine if I hooked a fish, he would have been gone in two seconds. I mean, you've been using that, that rig's been used like 10 times. No, we've never used that rig, it's brand new. I've been using your dropper loop rigs. You made three. You made two dropper loop rigs and one like that. And that was, our two dropper loops were broken off because we lost the weights on the last two, on the last two. I'll, I'm going to start tying dropper loops and learn it. We need to know how to tie those. All right, let's wrap it up, Sizzle. It was a good, a good day. We did a lot of good work. We had a wonderful day on the water with my girlfriend. Yep. And? It was epic. <laughs> it was epic. So, until next time, don't forget, always have a plan A, plan B, and plan C. Check out the fish angler app. Yep. Darcy makes these herself. I'm gonna link the uh, I'm gonna link the fish angler app down below. You guys can follow me there, but it's a free fishing app for all of us. And I just created a brand new uh, group for you guys to join. Oh wow! Called Darcy's Little Nation, so we can uh, connect more one on one. If you guys have fishing questions and all that good stuff, a lot of people that. are joining. We have a lot of new members already. I didn't so even know that. Get on there. All right. Nice. All right, that's about it, guys. We have a dark storm headed our way. So until our next Ooh. adventure, follow your dream and keep, keep on, on catching. catching.